Hey, I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers. In this video, we're going to make a project using some of the tools from the Crocodile line. We're going to make this adorable tag mini album, and we're going to use several of the different tools to punch holes and set eyelets with the Crocodile. We're going to decorate corners with the Corner Chomper. And then we're also going to punch holes in some of the pages in the album with the multi-punch. Let's go ahead and get started with the cover. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of wood burning on this wood tag with the singe quill. You can use the singe quill with your electronic cutting machine, but you can also use it by hand. So I pulled a stencil from the cordless marker airbrush set, and I'm going to just put a cute little um, paw mark up at the top. So I'm going to just follow the stencil with my marker and I'm using the bold singe quill just so I can get a little more coverage. And the tag I'm using is also from the singe quill kit. All right, so now that we have the paw, we're going to use the little high stencil. So I'm gonna move that down to the bottom part of the tag. center it and just going to follow around that. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to use the heat gun to activate the ink. And what I love is we're not actually burning the wood, we're just singeing it and so we don't get all the smoke that you do with real wood burning. So let's watch the magic. <laughs> Almost. Okay. How cute is that? I absolutely love that. All right, so next we're going to add a little washi tape from the Amy Tangerine collection just across the bottom and the top of the tag to add a little color. One more piece across the top. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just trim those. All right, and then I like to cover up that little heart with a sticker, so I'm gonna grab a little cat face and make that the top of the eye instead of the heart. So there's our decorated cover. Now we're gonna add a cute little heart eyelet to the top. My tag has already got a hole in it. This was pre-punched beforehand, but if you have a wood tag that is not pre-punched ahead of time, you can use the crocodile and you can do a 1 8 hole or a 3 16 hole um, easily and it'll go right through the wood no problem. So you're set with that. All right, so now we're going to set the eyelet, and I've got these cute little heart eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that in my hole, and I'm going to use the crocodile, and I've got my settings here on the tool at number one on the bottom, and letter A on the top. So this is gonna go right into the center of my eyelet and then I'm just gonna squeeze. And that eyelet is set, and you can even still adjust it a little bit if you need to turn it or rotate it a bit. But that's clamped down on the other side, so it's not going anywhere. And that just adds a fun little decorative element to your cover. All right, so now I've got two covers ready, and I'm gonna show you how to do the inside pages. And what's cool about these pages is I've already pre-cut them to match the size of my tags, but I need to add some angles on the corners. So I've got my corner chomper, and this is the angle corner chomper. There's a small angle and a large angle. I'm gonna open up these pieces here, and we're gonna use the large angle, and that's the perfect match for this particular wood tag. So I'm just gonna take it and put it into the guides and punch. Same thing on the other side, put it into the guides and punch. And now my tag is the perfect size to match the wood tags. Next, we need to make some holes on these pages to put the binder ring through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use 
the multi-punch and I'm going to put it on the quarter inch hole setting so you can just rotate that around to pick your size one out of five and it goes from a 1 16th all the way up to 5 16th so now I'm going to punch my hole in my page and it's got a little guide right here on the top that shows you how far you've stuck that in one half three quarters or one inch so you can accurately measure where you're placing your tag so I'm going to go ahead and punch. Now we're going to use the hole reinforcer punch to get a hole reinforcer just so my pages are more secure. So all I do is just punch. All right, and then I'm going to grab my adhesive and just put a little bit on the back and place that down. And the nice thing is, is that the holes match up perfectly. So this is a quarter inch hole with the reinforcer punch and a quarter inch hole with the multi-punch. So you can use those together. All right, so then we're going to take the covers that we put together and you're gonna use a simple binder ring and you would place all of your pages inside and then we're just going to run this ring through and clamp it shut and that's how you assemble your album. Now let me show you some of the embellished pages on the inside and how I just use some simple tools to do that. Um, again, I used the Amy Tangerine collection and added some stickers and some ephemera and then I even punched some cute little hearts with the layered punches. And what I love about those is it allows you to use several different sizes um, and which is perfect for this little mini album. See these little hearts here. We've got a larger heart here. Um, and lots of fun stuff. We, I even did the back and that's where we're going to be um, doing our journaling so you can write about your favorite little pet or whatever your album's going to be about. And here you can see an example of how the punch is layered nicely together. And you can even use the leftover pieces to create a cute element there as well. And that's just a fun little tag mini album that you can make using some of the tools in our Crocodile line. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Allie Dazzle for We Are Memory Keepers.